Hello everyone, Jacob Snow here, bringing you a new video. I'm hoping to do this around once a week, you know, and intersperse some more videos. Just do a weekly skirmish, uh, set up the board in different interesting ways, and see how much I can get done with a single adventurer. Uh, today I'm using Bria, she is my dark elven warrior. Uh, she's using two crystalline swords, and she has five hit points, deals two damage per hit, and has plus seven to her attack, and plus four to her defense. Um, rolled off earlier, and have played through it a couple of times, and now I'm going to play it through on camera. Uh, we rolled four on monster hit points. Sorry about that. Uh, we So we put out a crossbowman, a and two highwaymen. There we go. Uh, and we will be using a dice cut. It's one problem I've had a lot of recent videos is when I roll the dice, oh, they go everywhere, and sometimes they fall down. So I'm hoping by using a dice cup that that will be circumvented. So we're gonna roll for initiative. Black dice represents the bad guys. White dice represents our hero. And the bad guys will be going first. One, two, three. There's that. One, two, three. There's that. And one, two, three. There's that. Oop, no. Tipping over. I hate it when they tip over. It's the worst. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to the first adventurer turn. Bria. Ooh, that was actually a really good move. The uh, highwayman has both venues covered. He has this one diagonally and this one long ways, so vertically. So that's, uh, that's a bit of a problem for Bria. She does not have a lot of defensive power. However, one, two, three. She can attack this guy without fear of ranged retribution. Oh no, he successfully defended, which means he's probably going to go down. Alright, yep, his first one is a hit. His second one is a hit. And his third one... Oh, she blocked it. Okay, this guy, one, two. And he will be attacking Bria. His first one is a hit. Second one is also a hit. She has one hit point left. And... Oh, well, she might actually make it, because... the highway... because the crossbowman, he cannot reach her this round. Two, three. He's lining up a shot, though. Sorry about the scuffling noise. I keep accidentally running my finger over the microphone. Okay, so she's going after that guy. I'm going to try to get free here. Okay, her first attack failed, but her second attack was successful, and she moves back one square, putting her at safety from the crossbowman, at least for one more round. And he is now moving to strike out at Bria. Both of the dice just went into the floor. Uh, Bria rolled a three, and the highwayman rolled a five. She got a 7 defense, he got a 10 attack. Bria is vanquished, and will awaken in the temple due to her adventurer's charm. Uh, that was a really tight round. Uh, mainly because the crossbowman had me wherever I went. You know, if I had gone that way, he would have had a shot. Going after him where he was there, I would have gotten it if I had been able to hit him. So, I'm going to try it again. Same placement. Well, relatively. Same. Uh, forgive me if I don't get this quite right. Wait a minute. Yeah, he was there. Okay. And he was right here. <laughs> I've got a uh, crazy cats going on. Got a little brother pretending to be a crazy cat. <laughs> so, uh, okay. 
So we're going to try this again. Hey, Bria gets the initiative. And she is going to go one, two. And she's going to just stay there, okay? Now, this guy is going to do exactly what he did last time. And this guy is going to do exactly what he did last time. Our difference will come from the crossbowman who will be moving here. He moved here instead of right here, which is where he stopped last time. Okay. Bria. It's turn now. Bria steps forward. Now, she's got a 7 attack, so that's a 13 against a 12. That guy's history. She used her free attack to do that. She's got two actions left. She moves two. And will be smiting her second foe. So that was a very different first round. Uh, because I was able to... Firstly, I thought ahead about where I put Bria, so she wasn't immediately engaged in battle. Uh, and now, it is the bandit turn, and we'll see what the crosswoman does. One, two, three... Wait, no. Ding, ding. One, two, three. You may wonder... Why I chose to move him all the way over there. It gives him... Sorry about the finger in front of the lens. <laughs> it gives him a clear line of sight on Bria, but she does not have the advantage on him. She can't get to him in the first round. Well, actually, yes, yeah, she can. One, two, three. Looks like you miscalculated, Mr. Crossman. His life hangs in the balance. Oh, no! 12 for Bria, 5 for the crossbowman. And Bria successfully clears the room this time. Winning those first two combat rolls made a world of difference. Um, and being a warrior where she dealt two damage per hit, again, that was a lifesaver. Because she would have been adjacent to the crossbowman. If she had only dealt one damage with a successful attack, she dealt two damage, which took him right out of the fight. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I look forward to doing another one for next week, and I hope that you will watch it. And I also hope that you will check out the description below, because it has a link to Legends of Albedon, the game's WordPress site. And uh, if you go there, you go to how to play, that'll teach you how to play the game. You go to the character creator, that'll teach you how to create your own characters. And uh, you go to quest mode, and that'll give you the quests that we've been doing. We're about to wrap up a big quest arc, and uh, maybe I'll be able, once it's put together and finished up, all five quests are up there, I'll be uh, recording a quest line video. So I'm really looking forward to that. Y'all have a great night, God bless, and remember... You are legendary. Never forget it. You're a legend that will never come again. God bless. See you around.